out. Our God is so good. And the scripture of, I look at the Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to read a few verses from Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 5 down. It says, Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline them, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Get wisdom, get understanding. Wisdom comes from God. Understanding comes from God. Get wisdom. In all you're getting, get wisdom. You know, when Solomon was made king, and God gave, asked him, Solomon, what would you have me what would you have me give to you? And above all things, Solomon says, Lord, give me wisdom that I may lead your people. Above all things, Solomon did not ask God for riches. He did not ask for a big castle. He did not ask for wealth, gold, silver. Above all things, wisdom is a valuable thing. Get wisdom, get understanding. Wisdom comes from God. Understanding comes from God. There's people who have studied for years, but they don't have wisdom. They don't have understanding. They've acquired so much in life, but they don't have wisdom. They don't have understanding. Wisdom and understanding comes from God. So get wisdom. When we get wisdom, we realize that our God is good. When we get understanding, we know we can depend on Him. When we get wisdom, we know we can lean on Him. When we get understanding, we know we can trust Him. We know whatever circumstances come up against us, we can call upon the name of the Lord. Psalmist says, in my distress, I call upon the Lord. It says, forget her not, forget not wisdom. She shall preserve thee. Love her and, and she will keep thee. When we open our heart to God's word, God reveal his word to us. You know, I always say the Word of God is so deep. It is so immensely deep. The more, the more we go, the deeper it gets. But it's the Word of God. And the Word of God is what gives us wisdom. The Word of God is what gives us understanding. He says, forsake it not. Forsake it not. It is important for life, for peace for deliverance. Forsake her not. Forsake not wisdom. Keep and she shall preserve thee. Love her. Love wisdom. Love God. Love the word of God. And she shall keep thee. And it went on to say in verse 7, Proverbs 4 verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy gathering get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. And wisdom, we get wisdom from God. We get wisdom from the Word of God. We get understanding from the Word of God. The Word of God is is, is not a dead letter. It's a living word. It's a life. The word of God is a life. The word of God is life. Jesus says, search the scripture. Because the scripture testify of me. Search the scripture because the scripture tell testify of me. Every word in the book testify of God. Testify of his goodness, testify of his power, testify of his mercy, testify of his grace. 
every word testify of its blessings wisdom is the principal thing wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding because wisdom is one thing understanding is another wisdom is knowing understanding is showing so is knowing and showing what we the word of god knowing it it is revealed to us wisdom is opening to us as a book understanding is establishing the wisdom that god has given us and we can impart the understanding when we have wisdom so wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee honor when thou hast embraced her when we know and understand the word of God it will bring us honor we are honorable we, we, we can't know the word of God we can't have wisdom we can't have understanding and not be honored because that is God himself inside of us revealed to us so we have an answer anyone should have need an answer anyone who need to be enlightened anyone who need to know the power of God when we have the wisdom and knowledge, we can impart it. And we, it says, She shall bring thee honor, and thou, when thou embrace her. Embrace it. Embrace wisdom. Embrace understanding. She shall, she shall give thee head an ointment of grace. A crown of glory she shall deliver thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. And all this is when we understand how our God who how our God works, how our God is there for us in all situations when we have wisdom when we have understanding we understand that God will be there the psalmist said deliver me O Lord we know that when trouble come we can call upon him N nothing to fear nothing to doubt but know God make a connection establish a communication line knowing that we call upon him and he answers that we know is a true and living God we don't serve a God of gold or silver we don't serve a God any other God we serve the Lord Jesus hear O Lord hear O my son and receive my sayings and the years thy years shall be many shall live long the Lord shall keep thee when you keep the word of God when we keep the word of God because the word of God is life the word of God is actual life so if we keep the word of God the word of wisdom and understanding it says thy years and the years of thy life shall be many I says, I have thought thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the path, in the right path. When thou goest, thy step shall not be shattered. When thou turnest, thou shalt not stum stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. 
let her let her not go keep her for she is thy life instructions instructions hold fast to instructions good instructions righteous instruction instructions of the way of god instruction on the word of god take hold of instruction take fast hold of instruction let it not go don't let it go keep her for she is thy life some people can't take instructions you talk to them and they just they know more than you and even though you know the word and you tell them the word they're not accepting it they've got their pre uh, pre meditated word and what they believe in presumption of what they believe is right is the word of God is not based on presumption the word of God is factual not presum it's, it's not presumption it's factual the word of God is real the Bible tells us the word of God is like a two-edged sword dividing a shanda piercing the soul and the marrow this the word of God is is sharper than a two-edged sword it's real take fast hold take fast hold of instruction let it not go keep her for she's thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Take not the path of the wicked and not go in the way of evil men. It shall pass, avoid it, pass by it, turn from it. And pass away enter not in the path of the wicked enter not in the path of the unrighteous enter not on the path of the ungodly enter not in the path of liars and warmongers enter not Go not in the way of the evil man. Avoid it. Pass by it. Turn from it. And pass away. Because the evil shall be destroyed. If one repent not, they shall be destroyed. Repentance is the only way to God. Repentance. People who study evil, who live evil, they shall perish. There's no if or but or maybe, they shall perish. The only thing can save mankind from, from um, dying in sin the only thing that can save man from hell is repentance and avoiding evil the evil man and verse 16 this verse 16 it says this is the evil the, this is the evil man the evil man it says for they sleep not except they have done mischief. They sleep not. Can you imagine? You can't sleep unless you do some, mis some mischief. You, you just cannot sleep. You have to do some mischief. You have to plan some mischief. You can't sleep. 
unless you do some plan some mischief it says they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall so, when we realize that the world is made up of people like these who will not sleep unless they cause some mischief and they will not sleep unless they cause someone to fall. We are in a dangerous situation, but the Lord. We can say, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. From the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischief in their heart continually and they are gathered together for war. Deliver me. Thank God we have a deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Hallelujah. Praise God he delivered me. How do you know he deliver? Praise the Lord. Jesus is my deliverer. Praise God, he delivered me. We are delivered. We are delivered, brethren. We are delivered by the mercy and the grace of Almighty God. Praise the Lord. So David says, deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me from the evil and violent men. Thank God we have a deliverer. And it's Jesus. It is really good to know that we can live without fear. It is good to know. You know, fear is not a good thing and fear do not come from God. But when we know God, we don't need to live in fear. We don't need to live in fear. Because we know Him who has the whole world in His hand. He has the whole world in His hand. He has you and me, brother, in His hand. He has the whole world in his hand and we know we can depend on him. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you all. We come to the end of teleconference and um, I want to say thank you all for support over the years. Uh, next week, Sunday, the 6th of October will be four years. Of teleconference, unbroken teleconference, and we want to have a little celebration next week. Next week, Sunday, the 6th of October. Hope you'll be able to join us. Um, God bless you for joining us tonight. God bless you. I uh, see uh, Pastor Winston, Sister Brina, Sister Rose, Pastor Winston, uh, PT, and um, I think I saw my daughter, Ajamida, and a couple of the names, I don't know. God bless you all for joining. And I'm going to turn over to um, our dear um, Bishop, Dr. Winston, um, to give us a few words. But before I do, I'm going to ask Sister Rose to sing a song or give us a thought before you go. And then I'll ask Pastor Winston after Sister, um, Sister Rose. So Sister Rose... Greetings, God bless the world. Greetings, greetings. Mm -hmm. Been a blessed day today. Amen. Well, it's all lovely to go to um, the wedding anniversary of our beautiful Minister Chelsea and Pastor Winston. 34 years. Wow, what amazing that is. And as I said before, we got to catch up. I was going to do a short refrain of a song that I've been singing quite a bit because it just shows how wonderful God is and they've been through a lot. Yes. And God good to them. God has been merciful to them and God is still keeping them. So I'm just going to do it very short. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. Thank you, Lord. Your grace and mercy 
has brought me through. I'm living at the moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. One more time. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. I'm living at the moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy, your grace and mercy, your grace and mercy has brought me through. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, sisters. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. I think we all can share that sentiment that the grace and mercy of God has brought us through. And that's why we are here today. Nothing of our own but by the grace and mercy of Almighty God. We give God thanks for His grace and His mercy. And um, as um, Sister O said, we went to Pastor, um, Pastor Winston's church today and we had a little celebration because he had anniversary 34 years God has been good God has been good so we are at a wonderful time giving God thanks it's all about giving God thanks because it's just his grace and his mercy nothing but his grace and his mercy has kept us and has kept you know Pastor Winston and his wife dear wife uh, Minister Kelsey together for all these years God is good and we give God thanks for them. Praise the Lord. Um, God bless you. Uh, anyone want to say something before I invite Pastor Winston? Um, anyone want to say something or give a thought or a testimony before I call on Bishop Dr. Johnson? Um, Greetings again. I would just like to have, um, if I can have prayer for my niece, um, Jemiah. If I can have prayer for my niece, Jemiah. Yes, yes, we, yes, God bless you. We'll do that at the end. Um, so then I will ask, um, God bless you, Bishop um, Dr. Johnson. I will ask you to participate and give us a thought as the Lord put on your heart. Always nice to hear from you. Thank you for joining Amen. us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Praise his Hallelujah. name. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise glory, the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Glory Amen. To God. Amen. Glory to God. Give God glory praise. To God. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Brethren, you can. You, hallelujah. You can. You can, you can unmute your mic and you can give God praise. Hallelujah. You can unmute, mute your mic and give God praise. You can say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. I want to say to a pleasant good afternoon, good, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Bishop. Good evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been glorious and I exalt his majesty for who he is. Yes. I want to congratulate more uh, Pastor Winston for it is 24th year. I want to 34. 34, sir. 34. To, to continue to, to, to 34. Yes, I meant 34. To continue to, to exalt his name and and for you, Pastor Thompson, as you continue now going to four years, 
with this ministry as you connect the world Amen. together to as we exalt Praise the, God. the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I, I think that's what we need in this time. As you earlier said, that we are at the brink of a change yes. in the world because uh, there are so many things. And the Bible says, when you see and hear of wars and rumors mm -hmm. of war, yeah. this is the time that we should take stock of where we are and where we're standing and who we are yes. and for whose we are. So it's vitally important. I, 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 and there's something that reminisce in my spirit when I look. I was looking at Ruth uh, in chapter one as sometimes in our lives that God imparted and sent us to do something or allow us to go somewhere, um, and sometimes life situation bring changes. Yes, Naomi. And her husband and her two sons, they meet a uh, famine was in their land. Yes. They had problems. And, and so they, they move to Moab to, to, to find a better life. Glory yes. to God. Mm -hmm. and, and as a seek to find a better life. But when she got to Moab, uh, their strategy Mm -hmm. comes in. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. She lost her husband mm -hmm. and she lost her, uh, her two, two sons. It, it, this is seen unbearable and it has seen the times in life. I want to remind us that we may not know the path that God is going to lead us into. It, the path may not seem in our ideology and in our philosophies as it sounds, as it looked like God. But we must be reminded that God has the final say. That's right. For uh, he promise he will never lead us That's in right. any dark Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, than he has tried. And sometimes, even when even death comes, disaster comes, mm -hmm. and, was, uh, and, and it looked like that God was not in it, and God was not with it. Uh, my friend and my neighbor, what I want you to remember, that God knows the very intent of your heart. Yes, he does. And God doesn't do things to please man. God does things to please him. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God Amen. does things to please him, not to please man. That's right. So God will is form us. And so, sometimes we look at and we say, Lord God, I lost my love. And could you imagine Naomi lost her husband, the breadwinner? Could you imagine? And sought the act of the sons. Could you imagine? Mm -hmm. So there were no breadwinner. She left with only two daughters. Yes, 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 yes. She was not in the best of health. And she was not in the best of health. And, but she was... She came to a conclusion. She had to return to the very place that she needed from to get a better life. For she heard that the Lord had sent bread to Judea. Yes. The Lord had sent bread to Judea. Yes. So she was no confident within herself that she must return. And the daughter laws they, they were animal because they wanted to go with her and she trying to detour them from following up because well, she don't have it as far as she concerned she had nothing left in her womb mm -hmm. to present uh, that they could wait they, mm -hmm. they have nothing no and what God. have i seen i seen citizens of the kingdom children of the most high god that sometimes we do not understand but all i'm asking of us that may be submit ourselves to god master so if we submit ourselves to god then the rest is history submit and he will lead us yes he will guide us 
Yes. He will bring us into all truth. He said, when the Holy Ghost come, the Comforter, He will guide us into all truth. Yes, amen. Jesus came in no his destiny. It's ordained by God. It's ordained by that He knows His destiny. Mm -hmm. But He came and was willing to bear the shame. Yes. To carry the cross. To die. And He cried. Hallelujah. It is finished. Praise Him. I am a setor, I am the It is finished. Yes. Jesus of the kingdom, it is finished. Man's redemption is complete. Glory to God. So as Naomi return, whatever our situation, and it may not look like God. Remember, if you are a citizen of the kingdom, your step is ordered by the Lord. Amen. If you submit and walk in, your step is ordered by the Lord. It may not look good. If we look at Jeremiah, we say, boy, God could never be in that. God, sorry, the situation that he was speaking as an ark of God, and it seemed like God was not in it. The question is to oh Hallelujah. God. Glory. He questioned it. He questioned it. Remember, separate. Most times it doesn't seem like God in it. But he did not ask us to do what we need to do. Submit, believe, and the rest is history. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face yes, to amen. shine upon us amen. and grant us his peace. God bless. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Bishop Johnson. Um, you always inspire our heart, and I, I love the word. And um, I like the one that says, Submit, submit, submit. You know, we have to submit. There's no two ways about it. We have to submit yourself under the mighty hands of God. When we submit ourselves, as you know, we don't know what God has in store for us. But the Bible says no. that God have, he says, I know the plan I have for you. It Alleluia. is of good and not evil. Mm. God know the plan mm -hmm. he has for us. It's a good plan. It's not an evil plan. Yes. It's a plan Read of peace. Box. So if we mm. submit ourselves to him, he, we have nothing to fear. He has good intention for us. He wants to bless us. He wants to provide for us. He wants to deliver us. He wants to give us all good things. Because all good things come from God. The devil has nothing to give us. Satan has nothing to give anybody. Sin, shame, and disgrace. That's all he has. Sin, shame, and disgrace. The devil has nothing. Then as you speak, um, Bishop, I remember when um, Jesus was tempted by the devil and showed him all the beautiful things in the earth and said, I will, this, uh, this belong to me. I will give you if you fall down and worship me. Where did the devil get everything that he's give, he was offering to Jesus? Did he have anything to give Jesus? Did anything belong to him? Nothing. Nothing belonged to Nothing. him. But he said he would he said it belongs to him. He's a liar. He has nothing to give nobody. So let us hold to Jesus. Hold to his unchanging arm. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you. I have a number there, um, 9961. I'm not sure who that is, but you're welcome to join us. I'm not sure who you are but god bless you for joining us um i just see your number come up god bless you and uh god bless you oh pastor mcgann okay so anyone that may have anything to say before i close god bless you so
Um, I'm going to ask Pastor Winston, Bishop Winston, one more time to pray for S Sister Rose and niece. Okay, um, her uh, name no, is her okay. name is Jemai. Um, she's seeking the Jemaya. Lord. Jema Jemaya. Sister Rose, Jemaya, her name is, and she's seeking the Lord, but the yes, devil Jemaya. is Jemaya. But she's having a struggle with the devil. The devil is trying to discourage her. So, Bishop, as closing, Bishop, we could also pray for Jemiah. Ask God to take hold of our situation and help her to draw near to God. Yes, Bishop Johnson. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, Whatever my lot, you have taught me to know it is well with my soul. Amen. Eternal God and our Father, in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. the Christ. Yes, Lord. We come to you Amen. We stand and stand in proxy for Jemiah. Yes. Lord God Almighty. You are king and able, sir. You are Lord. You are never fail. You never last a battle. You are God by yourself. Amen. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus glory, Christ, glory, 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 glory to God. I bring them all before you this evening, yes, Lord, Lord God Almighty, Word of God. Breathe our Lord. Saturate our heart. Lord. Saturate our mind, Lord God. Jesus. Help Lord and keep our Lord in that perfect peace as she surrender to Hallelujah. your will. Lord as she Jesus. surrender to your Lordship. As she surrender to your majesty. Great Jehovah. Help her, Lord. <laughs> Pilgrim to this one. We are weak, but you are mighty. Touching them from the very crown of her head to the very soul of her feet. Save her. Grant her salvation by your power divine. I rebuke the devil for her sake. Yes, Lord. I command her to be loose. Yes, Lord. To be loose. Yes, Lord. To be loose. Yes, Lord. And by your Thank power you, in the name of Jesus. Loose, Lord. Continue to bless this Young ministry, lady. God, that Pastor Thompson and his wife and all those that join. My Lord. God, I bring them all to you this evening in the mighty name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Touch, heal, deliver, set. Free God, bring deliverance to the broken heart, the broken My heart, God. the broken lives, the broken dream. In the name of Jesus, and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we thank you, we glorify you, we exalt you. You are King, you are Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Bless again, we pray yes. as this ministry continues, Lord. To reach the lost and the dying, we tell you thanks and we give you thanks in no other name but in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Christ, thank, you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless thank you. Thank you, Bishop. I mean, thank you. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you for your prayer. God bless you. You know, these young people, when they're seeking the Lord, the devil really fight them down. So we yes, are trusting yes, in the yes, Lord yes. because the Lord is able to break every chain and every fetter. God bless you all for joining and thank you all for joining us. I want us all to try and join us next week because we are going to celebrate four, four years of teleconference since COVID. We have been keeping it up and God has been good. We give God praise, we give God glory and God bless everyone for joining us. And may you have a wonderful week. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. God bless everyone. God bless you. Bye. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.